government officials insist that this is an isolated incident. Yeah. Oh, we will continue to keep you informed as this story unfolds. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. We are surviving the aftermath. It is day 61, and a magnetic storm is imminent. Now, why did I cut into this to show you a magnetic storm? Because you're all like, Raz, we've already seen a magnetic storm. Uh, thanks for wasting our time. Because I have this thing. The new lightning rod. It is constructed, and I want to see what happens. Now, with this, this has an area of effect. So you want to build your um, electricity stuff around this. And that's what I did here. I think we're covered. I think we're covered with our windmills and our um, battery packs and all that. We have uh, plenty of power and, and stored up a pretty good amount. Um, and with that, that's kind of, I want to see how this works. And here we go. Magnetic storm time, people. Let's just see if we can get it to, to snap. Not to snap, but I want to see it to hit. Oh, that's really cool. So cool. I want to get a picture. Lightning strikes it. Come on, lightning. Any time now. That's very cool looking with this lightning rod. Very neat little effects. A great. Now we're minus 60, so we're burning through our electricity right now. But we're, it'll be okay. Everything will be fine. Power plants and electrical de electrical devices might be damaged. So I wonder if electrical buildings... Yeah, so the refinery can get damaged. The field hospital can get damaged. Um, anything that takes electricity... Technically could be damaged. But we, we're going to... These are our very important items because they take components to build. And we don't want to lose those. I've also been upgrading all my homes. Oh, that was cool. That was pretty cool. Alright. Oh man, I'm trying I wanna I wanna get a picture of that for a screenshot. So I'm I'm trying to hold. And I have to hit like escape at the right time. Mm, I don't know if that's gonna That's not going to work. I guess I can, uh, yeah, just, we'll just do this. Hopefully I caught it. Hopefully I caught that with my little screenshot I just took. We'll find out what happens. But the great thing is, is this is protecting it. Now, what would be a cool addition is if this would store power. So your lightning rod, like, would charge up your batteries during a, a strike because right now we're burning through energy wouldn't it be cool if like the lightning rod if it was right next to say a large battery rack it would immediately recharge it see this stuff is really cool oh man these this it costs components to repair that stuff and that's why it's very important to um keep things safe right here victoria has been injured what no victoria you should be fine. Okay, we have tons of specialists now. We've had tons of groups show up. And right now, what everybody's doing is this person needs to heal so we can get people out of there. Um, maybe... Let me go back in here real quick. Maybe I can... I can't unassign her. And I can't create a team yet. It's kind of frustrating. All right. This car... We'll return it to Colony and hit all those supplies back. I've got a bunch of people coming back to Colony with supplies. Components are still very, very tight because we can't produce any yet. And I don't know, hopefully that's in a future update because it's. I've explored almost the entire map and there aren't many components. So that's really going to limit what we can and can't do going forward or how big we can expand. Uh, because we only can build so many power supplies. Right, I think I got everybody scavenged up and moved. Except for this lady, but she's waiting for her teammate to get healed up. 
No, don't hurt my stuff. Don't you mess with my stuff now. Has anything else been damaged? I think so. So far, so good. Oh, what I did, I need to build a... Uh, I had to destroy something and move it. So I need to build a new mechanic shop. Because um, I had to move it. I had to move the mechanic shop. It just wasn't working out for us here in Rastopia. Its location was right here. Oh my gosh. How is... My lightning tower gets damaged. It's not supposed to get damaged. That's silly. Why would it get damaged? I mean, that's the whole point of the the lightning the uh, lightning rod is just to channel electricity down. That's kind of that was kind of dumb. Come on, paradox. Get with the program here. All right, this is gonna go. Yeah, that's a good spot for it. And then we gotta build a road up through here there we go all right because I, I destroyed our tool shop and we have been making parts we need parts we need parts we have tons of food I mean food we are covered up with food we've been trading and all that good stuff I still wish that whatever was happening in the colony there was an animation here on the map I think it would be really cool if there was like some kind of magnetic storm animation doesn't have to be crazy but enough to kind of stay with the feel of it I guess is the word like the kind of keep you engrossed in things all right we've been demolishing houses and we've been putting everybody in big nice fancy homes so they're all happier that's what we have been doing drop another two-story house here and then I'm going to have like this area here. It's kind of a nice big road through the middle. And we can decorate that up with bushes and lights and all kinds of stuff because it's just not going to work out. And then this area will be kind of open for some smaller buildings, which will be nice because we'll, we'll add these in at a later date. How are we doing on technology? Have Oh, I've unlocked alternative proteins. Let's go into boring methods. That'll give us a better, um, better way to get water. Oh my gosh, environmental supply critically injured. Hit repair. Let's go. Let's go, people. So yeah, anything that takes electricity can be damaged, and all those take components to repair. So this thing is extremely worthwhile because it only takes, um. It only takes three components to build, and you just saw I just spent four repairing this. So it it's critical that we uh, that we get this repaired. And these things will lose health over time if you're not working on them, like this one right here. Um, let's go, people. We need to. I need I need people to start working on this. This thing is gonna die. Oh my gosh, don't, no, 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 come on. We're going to have, like, nuclear containment problem. There, there's somebody. Uh -huh. oh, carrying, you're not carrying what I want you to carry. 15%. Not good. Not good at all. I have eight free people, why aren't you repairing this? Because then I'm going to have to rebuild the whole thing. And, uh. Yeah, it's going to kind of suck. Is he repairing it? Oh, there he goes. Whew. Whew. We got a little guy here on the corner. He's uh he's working on the stuff on the um the environmental thing because that would have been a, an absolute disaster. This could be over any time now. Please. If you would uh environmental station critically damaged. I did, a, there was like a little thing that popped up where the guy that runs the tool shop, he wanted to get small engines up and working, and so I gave him approval and he blew up the tool shop. <laughs> it just exploded. <laughs> he had to build a new one. That kind of sucked. Refinery, no, are you serious? Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Now you can see that the importance of these lightning rods now. 
I mean, you almost want to build all your stuff that takes electricity around them. And you really need to think about that going forward because these uh, these things are awful. Is this over with? Nope, it's still going. I mean, because this thing's going to burn down. There's nobody repairing it. And I'm going to have to rebuild the whole thing. <laughs> oh, no. No. I mean, I got eight people free. Nobody's repairing anything. Oh, man. This kind of sucks, doesn't it? Oh, well. What do you do? Oh, please, are you repairing? You people fix it. Why are you standing there? Get to work. Oh, they need more parts. Hurry. 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 Oh, man. This thing's going to just, it's going to die. We'll watch it. And you can watch the whole thing burn to the ground. Oh, man. I'm going to be out. Pretty good amount of components, too. And it, it's. So there's some strategic planning now that you need to take into consideration when you build anything with electricity because um, things will blow up things will die and things will happen so let me go over here to trade see these people have nothing I want I'll send them a little concrete make a little money because nobody has anything that I want We'll send them some fiber because I got tons of it. I don't need it. Does nothing. Um, what else we got? We got we got soybeans out the wazoo. I will save the right, confirm. Now let's trade. And I really wish somebody had components to trade, but they don't. All right. Are you are you ready yet, ladies? To get out and find me some more supplies. There you go. Create a team. Let's go. We'll go this way with you two. Oh man. I don't want to go back to the home base because. All right, delivering a few components there. That's good. Turn the colony. And then we've got. This lady who's getting science. There's components here, but we have to bring a fighter up to take the bandit out. This person's just gathering up all these supplies down here. Just clearing out. This is the bottom of the map. Reach the bottom. You can see, I've, I mean, I've shown so much stuff and very, very few components. And I know I keep going on and on about components, but, well, you know, it is what it is. This person needs, these two people can repair the station wagon. This thing's burning to the ground. Oh, thank goodness. People are working on it. Oh, man. It was so close to just burning down. Look at it. <laughs> so close. Woo. We dodged a bullet there, folks. We're going to keep all these people free. Is this specialist ready for action again? Oh, it's because I waited around. Let's go this way with you. That's what we'll do. This person here is still hanging out, fixing this up. You go into town with your little hatchback. I can see you're busy. Yes, I can see you're busy. But what I need you to do is get in your car and explore up here because we need to find components, lady. All right. Everybody moved except for these two, but they should be fixing the car, aren't they? Yeah. Oh no, it's already. Yeah, the station wagon's being repaired. All right, construction complete. Specialist ready for action. Trade convoy has arrived. Two deposits depleted. Oh my gosh, Got so much stuff going on. So much going on. But none of you are going to. Uh, help fix my my uh, my little homes here so I guess what we need to do is we need to think about maybe maybe putting a lightning rod anything else we build with electricity maybe we want to build in this area around a lightning rod so that it's protected and that's we'll have to think about those things going forward 
because it's definitely going to be an issue if uh, if we have to keep repairing all of our stuff. It is because we can't trade for it. Nobody has any. I can't find any on the map, and uh, so we have, we have problems. We have problems in the apocalypse. We're, we're starting to uh, might might have issues going forward with some of this stuff. Very possible. All right, what was I doing? I can't remember. I got. Oh, we have an arena we can build for happiness. Um, but I'm not. I just don't want to do it right now. Right now, I'm I'm gonna keep working on upgrading our homes. So we have some residential areas here. We need some. We have farming here, but we have tons of food. So we don't really need it. Let's demolish this, and then. Maybe we can start another little like residential. Like I like I like doing them in blocks. Colonist has been having nightmares. He insists they mean something. Okay. One of the colonists approaches you. His eyes frame his eyes framed by dark circles. He tells you of a village not far from here where the inhabitants died mysteriously over a single night. He passed through the village recently and took some things with him. He is now plagued by terrible nightmares and convinced they're caused by the haunting ghosts of the villagers. They will only be calmed if their belongings are returned. Do we want to take the scientific approach? Appease the restless spirits? I mean, science first, people. We're doing science. And with that, we got parts and codes. You don't think there's anything supernatural going on, but something is clearly not right. An expedition is sent to inspect the town, armed with whatever you could find. They do indeed find a village strangely empty, populated only by skeletons covered by grass and moss. A closer inspection reveals a source of poisonous gas oozing from the ground. In addition to being deadly, smaller doses seem to cause hallucinations as well. Satisfied with the explanation, the team gathers up whatever usable resources. Okay, so he was high. That's, I mean, ultimately, that's what it came down to. He was, he was under the effects of a noxious gas. Our refinery is slowly getting rebuilt. We have any? Yeah, we. I don't have any oil, anyways, so there's really no no point in that even going up and running. Planks are de depleted. We've about depleted everything on the map. There really isn't much else to go gather, unless stuff starts respawning, which I haven't seen that happen in this play. In my other play, I've seen that that happen. But this one, not so much. Here's some planks. You can go get those. Car is ready. Excellent. Let's create a team and send this wild bunch out. Um, where do we want to send them? Let's send them this way. I think that's a good spot for them. I think that's a pretty good spot for them. This person. Get all these supplies, my friendly scout. Right. So we gotta start thinking here. This game game's making me think now. I don't like it. It was easy before. It's not so easy anymore. So what do we we have here? That's a lightning rod. If we put one here, it'll protect everything kind of in this circular area. Um, let's just go ahead and drop it there. And I'm just curious to see how this works out. Hopefully this will kind of protect this area, and then we'll build anything that requires electricity around there moving forward. Any of our factories or anything that, uh, that we have to build that requires electricity. That's what we will do. I think there's anything else I need to... Insect farm. That's what we needed. But we do... I mean, we don't really need it. We have plenty of food. I don't need it just waste components that we really don't need. I mean, we really have all the things we need. Here's a sauna. It doesn't require electricity. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Now we can build the sauna. Car is ready. Car is ready. That car is ready. Assign you to it. But you have to heal still. Alright. Yeah, let's make a sauna. I forgot that we researched that in the last episode. So that is under health. 
Great here is sauna. Basic hygiene is imperative to keeping a colony healthy. Saunas allow colonists to wash themselves of harmful particles and pathogens so they don't become a real issue later on. Extremely helpful during a pandemic. Well, we need to avoid that as much as possible. So, let's go ahead and let's build this sauna here somewhere. This looks like a good spot. Right by the main gate. Visitors can come in and get clean and not bring all their nasty in. I don't like that idea. Let's put that sauna there. Insufficient for the sauna. What, what do I need? I've, I've got all the... I have no metal? How do I have no metal? How do I... Let's take you off of work because I don't need tools. How do I not have metal? Well, let's go get some metal real quick. Parts we don't want. Sageford, what do you have? No metal. Little anvil, you should have metal. There we go. We want all your, I want all your metal. Give me your metal, pal. All right, we'll just buy it. We'll just use our coins to buy it instead of trading anything. The car is now ready. Two deposits depleted. My gosh, I can't keep up today. There's just too much junk going on. These things are... Everything here is about depleted. So let's just put our work place right there. And we won't worry about it. Alright, survivalists. Is there any metal close by? No, there's tools, tools. There's components. Probably need to... Yeah, let's go that way. Let's go down this way with that crew. And then we'll get those components and things. Are there components here? No, that's that's medical equipment. That's a medical chopper. You can go this way. We're going to start exploring this area. Hopefully we'll find another trading partner. You can come out of your car. And we are, I guess, at the top of the map. So there's parts. This person is just gathering up everything down here, like super shopper, cleaning out the southern section. All right. Several construction zones are lacking resources. Yeah, it looks like we're... I'm, I used up all my metal building these fancy houses. Oops. My bad. Didn't think about it. But we should have uh, two people working here. No, just one person and two people working here and then we're trading for some metal so things things will be okay in just a minute fast forward now i don't think is our oh we still need our sauna built i want to get the sauna built get these things built up so you can see the game is getting more difficult um it does feel like you get colonists faster in fact i have seven children Ooh, they're all in school. If I get any more, I'll have to build another school. It, so things things go much quicker than they did. Uh, definitely. So let's get these people up and going. She's a fighter, so I'm going to send you here and have you just take this guy out. Just get rid of him. Oh, you couldn't take him out with one punch? Come on, lady. And then you can get these components here for us because we need those. This person is exploring the frozen tundras. Cockroaches here on a crumbling houses. I'm sure they're covered with cockroaches. You, let's get you up a little bit farther here. These are some brawlers we have, but right now we're gonna we're gonna explore. We can bring everybody back, and we can start clearing out each point. There's metal, and it, it takes some hit, but it's it's we're in, we're kind of desperate for it right now. There we go. You get out of there. Explore this area. Junk Town. Yay! Cool. So we found a new place to trade. Excellent. So we're definitely going to get in there um, and see what they have. Maybe we can uh, maybe we can find something useful trading with them. That's excellent. I'm excited. This person. Seems like medical supplies take uh, such a long time to carry. You wouldn't think so, because it's antibiotics. It's like one pill bottle. <laughs> it shouldn't be that hard to get. 
boring methods completed. Um, what else do we want? I guess we need to we need to increase our capacity for uh, durability for the wind turbine. Durability for their quality capacitor durabilities. Tool shop tailor we don't need. Production speed for tool shop tailor I don't I'm not worry about. Production speed for the I'm not worried about. Repair costs. Definitely need to research that. But what we need is we need um yeah, we need better speeds there. There we go. So that'll increase the functionality of our uh, our factories. Our metal extractor, our concrete, and our plastic. They'll work faster. Faster. And other than that, I think we're good. I guess do I have any uh, oil yet? I don't. This needs to be harvested. Which is, it's currently being harvested, so we'll have some oil. I haven't even got into the bakery or making bread. There's all kinds of stuff left to build. We just haven't got there yet because we're out of metal all of a sudden. That's my fault. I used it all building these fancy houses. My fault. But hey, it's part of it. At least we used at least we used up the stuff. All right, car is ready, but you're not. You need to heal up a little bit more so we can put you in the hatchback. She's kind of cool looking. She's got like the paint across her face. She's like, I dare someone to miss with me. I'll take him out. Old woman appeared at the front of the gate. No, literally appeared. You're surprised to see an old woman, face like a peanut, <laughs> and her body bent, standing in front of the gate. Nobody admits to seeing her arrive. The woman cackles. Interested in riddles? Answer this. The bigger I am, the less you will have. What am I? Arrogance? Sickness, a lie, a hole. That's, I'm, I'm going to go with a hole. I did, I got it right! Which is wits is what it's called. A wide tooth of smile appears on the woman's wrinkly face. Hey, that it be. She re sounds like a pirate, not so much. <laughs> she reaches into her robes and hands you a basket filled with medicine before turning around and waddling back toward the forest. Thanks, lady. <laughs> she's not waddling, she's sprinting. Look at her. Sprinting away. Alright. I want to get this stuff built ASAP. Let's go. Move it, people. We've, we've doing pretty well. Our, our little, uh, our little home here is doing well can't complain and uh, I think I think we'll keep pressing on I've showed you the sauna well we'll show you the sauna in a minute I showed you the lightning rod which is a new building and a sauna so we have those things you are healed up now so we can make a team out of you and then send you off into where do we want to send Probably right here. That's a good little area to explore. We'll send you that way towards a little anvil. You are exploring here in the frozen tundras. Plenty of stuff to gather up. Oh, you knock him out. What? Oh, she put a knee to the groin and then she puts her fist up in the air. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I think it's funny. I don't know about you, but I think it's freaking hilarious. All right, let's see what's here. More cockroaches. Plenty of cockroaches, but as for usable stuff, in science. So, no, no. We have a few components that we gathered up. We're down to 34. Again, there's no way to build these things. I wish you could find like an old. Um, maybe later on in the map they'll add like. Uh, an old electronics store that you have to, you know, send people to collect stuff through, maybe. Oh, trade colony has arrived. Excellent. It's not Little Anvil, but let's go into Junktown because it looks like Junktown has some really cool stuff. They have carrots, they have cabbage, they have components, they have metal. They have pretty much everything we need right now. We need a bunch of metal, so we're just going to go ahead and get that bought up. We have plenty of concrete, so let's send that send that that way yeah oh it must not took 
that's a pretty even trade concrete for some metal and we can go ahead and get some components done too those are very expensive but we should have yeah we got quite a bit of what do we have tons of I think pollution let's sell that and then let's sell um what else can we get rid of soybeans oh my we have a surplus of soybeans all right 691 so metal metal we want components we want click OK um, what else can we get how much of these these are like 550 a pop no parts no we'll come back for these seeds and stuff later on yeah that looks good three days and 18 hours though that's all right excellent so we have a new trading partner that has components and they should have a constant supply of those um, the single items like the seeds you only can trade for one time but each one of these uh, trading partners you can see this is the stuff they specialize in so you can get this from them all the time and so we'll be able to get components from junk town all the time now so that is encouraging that is definitely encouraging do we have oil we do have oil so let's resume this let's get some people to work making fuel because we can definitely sell the fuel and uh, that's stay built Man, we still don't have metal come on I need one piece of metal to get the sauna built. <laughs> oh man, conveyor belt's completed. Let's go ahead and get junior engineers up and running and we can put more people in our little mining facilities. I need one metal. Hurry up. People have things to do. They're, they don't they don't need to sit here and watch Raz the whole time and hear you guys ding every time you smile. Ding, 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 ding. It's really annoying. I hope they change that soon. Colonist Harrison is homeless? Oh my, it is. But I don't have metal, so I don't know how I'm going to build him a house. I hate to just build a house. So I can build him. I just build a tent for now. There you go. There you go, Harrison. You can live in a tent until we get plenty of metal. Okay, cool. This is being built. Come on. Waiting for resources. We're waiting for one metal, but we have five. Let's go, people. There's six of you. Oh, he's building Harrison's tent. I want to see the sauna complete and people can get cleaned. Oh, you can see like the little shower stalls being built up inside. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. I like it. That's pretty neat. We should charge admission. We'll get back to all this. I just want to see this built and then we're we'll calling quits for this episode. Waiting for re. Oh, so this takes firewood. Well, that makes sense because you have to heat everything. And it's got a water tower. Um, we have plenty of firewood. I'm just hoping. Okay, there goes the steam. That's cool. I want to. And then you got the fireplace. I just want to see. Oh, something just blew up. What in the world? There was a random lightning strike. Uh, that's what I told... There are random events now, like tiny little things. Uh, like one meteor will fall out of the sky. You have a random lightning strike. So they have definitely increased the randomness of, uh, of that. I was trying to see how this works. Building open. Patient slot six. Occupants are... Everybody's getting cleaned up. Logan, Chloe, Jacob, Abigail, Ellie, Sebastian. They're all getting washed up. Cool. So this will help our people be healthier. And smell better. Because in the apocalypse, the BO is definitely a problem. All right, everybody. Sorry this took so long. I appreciate you watching. I really do. Um, I hope you have a great weekend. Everybody stay safe out there. Please, please, please stay safe. Stay calm. Don't panic. Don't freak out and uh, work together like the people of Raztopia to make our world a little bit better for each other. All right. Um, a little idealistic today. Just had my coffee. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> See you next time. These are the ends of the All of humanity should gather as one prayer for the preservation of the living and the soul of the infected. May God have mercy on us all. <laughs>